guys, this is Animat, and it's time once again that we check out what's in the box. Okay, so ever since the last episode, it just really amazes me how many letters and packages that you guys keep on sending me. I mean, just look at, look at all this. Look at all of what you send me. This is just insane. And honestly, uh, from the bottom of my heart, I really do thank you guys so much and like your major support in all this. This is just fantastic. But honestly, there could be a possibility that this is too much even for me. Because if you guys recall in the last episode of What's in the Box, it seriously went on for a while. Like, it actually went on for about like 50 minutes to an hour. I had to split the episode in half. It's just crazy. So this is pretty much why I have to do this big announcement and why I came to this decision. From now on, <laughs> uh, What's in the Box will now be a monthly show. So now every month, uh, I'm gonna go into my P.O. Box and I'm gonna go open packages and letters that you guys have sent me. Um, like, it'll definitely make the episode shorter and like, I know that for a lot of you guys, like, you guys are really anticipating for these videos and stuff like that. I know that some of you are just waiting for me to open your letters and stuff like that, so... Um, might as well make it happen faster instead of just like um, you guys just waiting for like two whole months so now you just have to wait for like a month or something but anyways uh, let's not delay it any longer and let the uh, let's find out what's in the box so I'm just gonna start off with the letters and uh, this one comes from the US so and oh my god we got scotch tape again <laughs> You know you can just lick the envelope and like that works, but okay, okay. Oh my. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so. Whew. Oh boy. We got more stuff in here. So which one do I open? I don't know which seriously, I don't know which one to open. Oh god, like I look at this. I got all these pieces of paper. Is this how I'm gonna start out? Okay, I, I guess I'm gonna go with this big one. There we go. Oh my gosh. You guys! Ah! Scotch tape! Freaking scotch tape! Ah! Scotch tape! Why you do this to me? You're making me rip it! You're making me rip it! Ah! Ah! It's Pillow Christ! Glory to the Pillow Christ! Oh my god, it, it's actually not that bad of a drawing actually. This is a really nice drawing of Pillow Christ as you can see. Oh, this is actually really cute. Okay, I do admit, okay, the scotch tape is worth it for the Pillow Christ. Okay, where, okay, next up. Um, where do we get, okay, I'll start with the, okay, next up I'll get this. There's some writing, so. Alright. Uh, dear Animat, my name is Louis, Louis Apar, Apari, Aparicio, a Aparicio, okay. My name is Louis Aparicio. I am 12 years old. I will turn 13 years old on May 29th, 2015. I live in Tuscan, Arizona. Well, uh, well, this is a little bit later, but uh, happy late birthday, Louis. Uh, I started watching your videos in 2013 and I am a huge fan of yours. I have sent you a list of movies that I have rated. Uh, by the way, I don't post my reviews on the internet. Uh, by the way, I drew something special for you. Sincerely, you, Louis Aparicio. Oh. Louis, you, you got, I gotta admit, Louis, you got some good talent with, uh, <laughs> with Pillow Christ here, so, I guess this is the one, so. Okay, so, like, this is just the three animated films he released in, uh, as you can see, these are the three animated film, the three first animated films released in 2015. So he gave Strange Magic 8%, uh, the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water 88%, and Home 90%. Okay, so this is all the animated films of 2014. So okay, here's what he gave: The Nut Job 4%, The Lego Movie 70%, 
The Wind Rises, 98%. Mr. Peabody and Sherman, 1%. This guy apparently hate, really hates Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Uh, Rio 2, 27%. Uh, Legend of Oz, Dorothy's Return, 8%. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2, 97%. Per, uh, Planes, Fire and Rescue, 105%. By the way, I'm a huge car fan. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the car series. That explains it. Uh, the Box Trolls, 89%. 89%. The Book of Life, 74%. Big Hero 6, 100%. And uh, Penguins of Madagascar, 51%. Well, it is nice that you do it color coded. That so, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Cool, like you're on a good path, Lewis. Like that's really nice. I really ap appreciate it. Okay, so the next one comes from Brian Walsh, and um, one really cool thing is that check it out. You got Batman, you got Batman stamps. Oh, and a Goofy sticker. Yeah, cool. Sorry, Goofy. I gotta rip a. I'm no, actually no. I'm not gonna do that. Oh my god, he knows how to use- he knows how to envelope. Oh my god. That's a good sight. Brian knows how to envelope. Ooh, and he has a type, too. Ooh, oh dear. Okay, so... Dear Matt, I know you probably get a lot of people saying that they are a huge fan of yours, like Lewis. Uh, but I'll say- say it again anyways, I'm a huge fan of your work. At the time when I found your videos via the top 5 best and worst animated films of 2011, it was nice to see someone at a young age appreciate the hard work that goes into the art of cinema and animation, and that's when I immediately subscribed. I also like your unique uh, critique style in your animax reviews, but my favorite parts were when I disagree with your opinions. I personally love Monsters University, Cars 2, and My Neighbor Totoro. Well, they're not bad films, but anyways. Um, uh, I, I like uh, I like that you kindly explain and make it understandable why you feel that way without treating us like idiots. I don't know if you remem remember me, but I'm a fan of uh, I'm a fan on Facebook who tried to get to get who get you to turn off your brain during Cloudy Two and the guy who sent you the Lord of the Rings Blu-ray, uh, just so just so I could show my support on your channel and fandom. Oh wait a minute! Oh that's right, you sent me this. Awesome. I am a community theater actor and I'm trying to get my degree in the performing arts and acting. I have been in the show such as Annie, Arsenic and Arsenic and Old Lace, Twelve Angry Men, oh I love that one, uh, Suicide Cold Musical, Miracle on 34th Street, and Waiting for Got It. Uh, it's just a personal dream of becoming a great actor and it's nice to see someone in, in his early 20s trying to pursue his dreams and making people smile like me. Keep working hard, sincerely, Brian. Read other side. Uh, do you watch the reviews of Jeremy Johns? Uh, no, honestly. Uh, it's not, uh, I don't hate the guy, but I don't know, I just don't watch it. Who would you rather punch in the face? Sur Surly from The Nut Job or Johnny from Hotel Transylvania? Uh, I pro probably Johnny, because without him, Hotel Transylvania would actually be a decent movie. Uh, where did you get the awesome hat? Believe it or not, Las Vegas. Uh, what is your personal favorite review uh, from either Animats Reviews or Animats Classic Reviews? That would be the Escape from Tomorrow review. And what is your favorite Ger Kirby game? Mine is Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. Mine too. So yeah, definitely. Thank you very much, Brian. This is actually really awesome. And go follow your dreams, man. That That's definitely amazing. Like, I, I really hope hope the best for you uh, to be a great actor. And we start off with some drawings of uh, Spongebob. Look, we got, we got Spongebob. We got, we got Patrick. And we got Mr. Krabs. So yeah, all my, so we got me, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs. Ah! Oh, well, that's a wonderful start, I gotta say. Okay, so... Let's open the paper. Oh, another type one. <clears throat> Alright, so anyways. Uh, let's see. Dear Animat, I've been a big fan of your videos ever since I first discovered your videos at the beginning of this year. I really like your animation lookback series, and I wanted to know what your next animation lookback is going to be. Uh, well, for now, it's actually going to be Studio Ghibli. Uh, and I really think you should do an animation lookback on Seth MacFarlane, the creator of Family Guy. I really want to make full, a full-length animated feature. And me and my friends are planning on making a movie from our favorite TV show, which we actually found out about, uh, which he actually found out about going through your videos. And I saw your review of the SpongeBob movie, and since I know you like Sp SpongeBob, I sent some cards that I made made for all the SpongeBob characters. Well, technically just three, but okay. Um, so the next one comes from 
K. Devaney. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. I think I know. I think it's Kevin Devaney. More scotch tape. Why do you people use scotch tape? Why is it that bro- Oh my god, it's gonna be- Oh my god, it's so hard to open. Eh, screw it. I just gotta- Gotta rip the envelope itself. Brian, why do you know how to envelope while well, a lot of people, everyone else just uses God for sake scotch tape? Anyways. Oh! Dear. Okay, I gotta go, uh... Okay, gotta go, gotta do this quick, so... Uh, I might have to speed this up a little bit. Hello there, Mel Thank you so much for reading my letter on your previous What's in the Box episode. The day that you uploaded the episode, in a couple parts, I was actually watching it, and I leapt with excitement when you read my letter to all your fans, video viewers. Uh, thank you so much. By the way, you mispronounced my last name in that episode. It's actually pronounced, uh, Dev uh, Devan Devani. Devani, not, not Devani. Dev Devani. I, I apologize. Uh, but I feel like my first letter to you was kind of rushed. When you first announced that you were doing a peel box series, I just got so excited that I just jolted down with what I wanted to say in such a rush that I feel like I could have just slowed down. I'm sorry if you felt like it was rushed. I'm not doing. Uh, I'm now doing much better in this letter. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to be very honest with you. I just like the Cutting with Chance to be Bold films too. Trust me, you're not alone. I never saw them when they were released, but I watched the first one on television, and I have to be honest, the animation just felt dis uh, disturbing, and I didn't feel much sympathy for the main char character either. Oh, duh, that's how the movie was pretty much made. So. Uh, and I even got, got and I even got to watch Legend of Oz Dorothy's Return too, but I didn't think it was that bad. Are you kidding me? Yes, it sounds great, just like the original 1939 cinematic classic, but I found it much more alright to watch than those films that I just mentioned. Trust me, uh, the animation in that film was much nicer and realistic. Realistic, if you ask me. One question: Have you ever thought of reviewing Walt the Walt Disney sequel such as Return to Neverland or Beauty and the Beast: The Enchanted Christmas? If so, would you please consider doing so? Some people have, on Facebook have asked me to ask you. If you could, that's why I asked you. If I take it out of the animation head, maybe we'll see. Uh, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge Walt Disney fan too. Your animation effects show, Walt Disney animation effects videos, was what I first saw and how I got introduced to your show. After I saw your uh, favorite Walt Disney films, where I decided to share my favorites with you too. I will explain why in my next letter to you. Trust me, you'll be very surprised why these are my favorites. Since you did your top 10 Walt Disney films, how about doing some of these in your upcoming videos? Some list of your top 10 uh, favorite Walt Disney villains, top 10 some Simpsons cartoons, and your favorite Mickey Mouse cartoons. I just thought I'd offer you these ideas, and we'll see. Uh, I'm planning to send you something in a package or so at some point this year, either closer to the summertime or around Christmas time. Uh, it's a surprise, so be ready when you receive them. Just a major note, there will be some messages for you on the package and what I contain within itself. Please be sure to read the message. Thank you. Uh, the reason why I put Thomas the Tank, uh, Thomas and the Magic Real World as one of my suggestions to you uh, to review someday is because you referenced to Thomas one time, and I just thought it's Matt Brunet and Thomas the Tank Engine fan too. I just want, uh, I just wasn't sure. Uh, that's why I suggested it, just in case uh, you decide to review it. Here is Restore the Magic Web website so you can use to find any information, such as what the film was originally meant to be and can still someday be. Well, not, not, honestly, I'm not really much of a Thomas the Tank Engine fan to be very honest. In conclusion, thank you again for reading my letter, and I can't wait for your next set of animated classic reviews and your next one in the box episode. Good luck, and I'll be watching uh, more of your hard work as it goes forward. Best regards, Kevin J. Devani. Okay, so thank you, Kevin. Oh boy, that's really a mouthful. Okay, <laughs> so has everybody learned about Kevin? Alright, next up, we got... Oh my god. <laughs> the whole front. The whole front feels like godforsaken scotch tape, and this comes from uh, Cody Chitwood in America. Sent by sent to Animat in Canada, not America. I am dead serious. This is what it's literally written. Just to be clear, I'm from Canada, not America. You just gotta make sure the post office people they recognize that. So, oh boy, if Quebec is not that much of an indicator, Quebec is a Canadian province, not an American state. Oh. Hey, look! Money! I has a dollar! We're off to a great start! Alright, dear Animat, hey, it's your neighbor from the south writing you to wanting to say thank you. Now, you might be sitting in your chair staring at this letter, thinking what when the hell is this kid talking about? I don't really question things, but... Well, I am, 14, I am a 14-year-old guy who started watching your videos from the beginning when you made Walt Disney Animation look back. Oh my god, that long ago? Uh, to say the least, I freaking loved it. I, I, it was so in-depth but humorous at the same time that I knew I had to take this to the next level. I started analyzing your videos to see how you, were, uh, how you worded your script and expressed emotions in your pieces. Uh, this led me to become... Uh, the best in my ELA class, and I am dead serious, getting all A's and only one B plus the entire year. Are you... Really? Really? Wow! <laughs> from, a from... There must be much more than just Walt Dis than Animation Look Back Disney, because oh my god. Like, holy crap. Not even A minus. I have learned how to put voice... Uh, how to put voice into my piece of work and much more. I put so much effort into my work that my ELA t-shirt teacher, not to boast, 
uh, constantly uses me as an example. You could probably make the assumption that I am a goody-goody and wasn't favorited by other kids, but nonetheless, my life has been accelerating at school and in my social life thanks to you. I have also started setting up uh, to make my own YouTube channel, but I am currently in the works. Uh, I'm almost there because I have recently purchased a Blue Yeti Pro microphone. Dude, that's amazing. And a Movani Video Suite 12. Holy crap, you're really going out there. I'm in the process of or ordering an uh, Asus laptop. Don't know which one yet, but probably in the League of Gamers series. Um, one more thing before I go. I would like to, uh, to say, that, uh, say that I'm a huge Disney enthusiast with having all but three Walt Disney animation feature films and Pixar animated feature films. If you want any discounts, I usually get emails for tickets and hotels on property discounts every month. I only go three times a year to the Disneyland, one to Walt Disney World. I also got two of my friends that work at Walt Disney World uh, that work at the Wilderness Lodge. Maybe they could hook you up with a deal. They did, did with us, but that's another story at another time. Anyways, thank you. Uh, thank you for taking your time to read this lengthy letter, and if you could review Food Fight or Song of the South, thanks. Uh, Cody J. Cl Chipwood, Un-American. Un P.S. I got family in Quebec and have never been in Canada, so I might come this year. Holy crap! Cody, that's amazing! That seriously is amazing, dude! That That's... It's honestly such a huge honor, and... You never know, maybe I could consider on that deal for uh, the Disney theme parks, you never know. But, oh my god, Cody, this is, this is honestly really incredible. This, it seriously is, like, I am, dude, that is amazing. I am so happy for you on that. Okay, so the next letter comes from, I don't think it's them specifically, Mr. and Mrs. Joe Falconer? I don't think it, yeah, I don't think it's them specifically, but. Dear Animat, I just wanted to say I love your... I oh, I just wanted to say I love your videos and I am a big fan. In fact, because of you, I would like to become a future animator one day. I was also wondering if you got my email yet. Uh, if not, the movies I re uh, requested were Fella Day, Watership Down, and Plague Dogs. Thank you, Joey. Uh, don't worry, Joey. Um, I am pretty much certain that those animated features are in the animation hat. So, don't worry. I got you covered. Okay, so next up, Benny! Benny! You know it's Benny when you got like the Pixar stamps and oh my god, Benny! What you got for me, Benny? Oh my god, this actually feels heavier, Benny. What did you send me? Meh. Oh, uh, let's see now. Ooh, we got a Donald card. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we got... Pillow Christ! We opened up with Pillow Christ! And we got Marcel! We got Pillow Christ and Marcel! Thank you! Great way to start. Holy crap. Uh, hey anime! Here's another one of my Pixar... Stamp... Oh! Uh, here's another one of my Pixar stamps and Mickey envelopes. Envelope... Envelope letters with Sorcerers of Magic... King Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards, cool. With characters from the entire, from entire entirely of oh, entirely of your top ten Disney movies, uh, including including one. Uh, uh, I'll be honest, sorry, it's it's a little bit hard to read. Including one read a Pixar movie that was not on your list, but has a cool and but has cool animation when you're in uh, when you're in the game. And to answer your question, most of my, my doubles are from some some uh, from some home versions. I get from Disney Store. Uh, I get from DisneyStore.com. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I buy them to have. Uh, I buy them to have doubles of of ultra rare light and uh, lightning, but cards to trade for cars day release of Mickey's uh, not so scary Halloween par party oh those are gonna be rare and Mickey's very Merry Christmas party uh, when you get when you get them all you want <laughs> all you want want to keep it by the way uh, now a unique a unique show for 
Uh, now a unique show for for you. We all know that you take animation very seriously, but is there an animated movie you like that everyone else hates? Uh, that I like that everyone else hates. That's a good question, honestly. I'll, I'll probably have to get back to you on that. I have to get back to you on that. I'm sure that- okay, actually, there is one that I, I could say so far. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie. Because, like, if you look on IMDb and stuff like that, everybody keeps on slamming it so hard. But, like, I am a huge fan of the first series of the Yu-Gi-Oh! show with Yugi, Joey, Tristan, and Taya. Like, I love it so much. And the movie was awesome. I remember uh, going into the theaters and watching it three times. So, like, I, I guess I could put that one for now. Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie. If there's any more, then I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you on it. So, what we got for Sorcerers of the Magic card of the Magic Kingdom cards? Not really in mint condition, I have to say. So, we got... We got Bell's Mountain Blizzard. Maurice's Woodchopper. We got Simba's Roar. We got the Queen of Hearts Card Ar Army. And we got Mike's Grand Entrance. Alright, this is actually pretty cool, I gotta say. So, <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, this is ama amazing. I never thought of, that I would actually have a collection of uh, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards, but... Wow, thanks, Benny. This is awesome. I, I really enjoy having it. And this one, ooh! Check this out! Look! It's a postcard from Universal Studios. And it says here, uh, you were right. Minion Mayhem was just a fun and exciting. It was just as fun and exciting as you said it was in your Despicable Me 2 review. I also enjoy the Simpsons and Transformers ride. Having fun. Sincerely, Brian. P.S. The minions say hi. <laughs> awesome. No, I gotta say, like, no, the Simpsons ride is amazing. I haven't been to the Transformers ride yet, and like, if if you're a fan of Despicable Me, then you're you'll definitely love Minion Mayhem. It's really awesome. It's as good as the movies, I gotta say. So yeah, that's awesome. I got a postcard from Universal Studios. This one is gonna come from Caleb Corger. So, uh, dear Matt, my my name is Cur my name is Caleb. You may know me as the co-creator of the Animac Fan Club. Uh, the uh, link is down below. I have been a big fan of you since 2009. That's since the fa the very beginning. Holy crap. You're one of my favorites, along with Doug Walker, Brad Jones, and Corey Coleman. Awesome, guys. Uh, top 10 other Disney villains is still my favorite video on your YouTube channel. I have a question for your next update, uh, for your next vlog update. I'll save that for later, actually. Sincerely, Caleb Corker. Woo! Oh, these are at... Woo! These are actually really nice, I gotta say. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is from, yeah, this one, I remember, this is from Rebecca, and this is a really nice one. And I think if I can recall, I think this is from Caleb's sister, which is another really nice one. And I think it's from Vizzy, uh, I think this is one of uh, Vizzy Pop, Vizzy Pop's creations, so I don't really understand that. So yeah. So yeah, here's me hanging out with a blue wolf lady. I don't know what her name specifically is, but yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much, Collab. P.S. I'm sorry if I don't know her like the the blue wolf lady's name specifically, but yeah, uh, I'll put this over here. And next up, we got another one of these. So oh, this is gonna be oh, I think this is gonna be easier to open. Actually, yes. Uh, okay, so okay. So, there we go. And there we go. And we got in here. Ooh. Dear Animat, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of you. I love your animation lookbacks, and I'm really excited about animation lookbacks to your Ghibli. I know that you said you would start releasing the parts around the end of 2015 and the beginning of 2016. Uh, the only film from the company that I couldn't find any any production facts was on Palm Poco. I'm really sorry for being a pest in the past by continuing to ask you why you hate Marcy's models in Cars 2 until you would tell me why in the comments. Sincerely, Dil uh, Dylan Cliché. Here are my questions. Holy crap! Look at this! Look at this is all questions! It starts out simple like this! to answer them all. Holy crap! Wow! This is just... Holy crap! Okay. 
Thanks, Dylan. Um, I'll answer your questions later. <laughs> Holy... Oh, dude, okay. Anyway, so now that I got the letter portion of uh, what's in the box done, now it's actually time to move on to the packages. Now, this one I'm actually really excited for, so...